What is quickest in a drag race? The top of the range Mercedes AMG with an internal combustion engine or the top of the range Mercedes AMG with an electric motor? Well, two of them. Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to drag race over the standing quarter mile an AMG GT63 SE performance against an AMG EQS 53 because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, Car Wow. Now let me tell you about this GT63 SE Performance, big long name, it's quite confusing, but so is the car itself. So underneath the bonnet, you've got a four litre twin turbo V8, but it's mated to an electric motor that's on the rear axle and combined, you have 840 horsepower and 1,400 newton meters of torque. It's quite a heavy car though, weighs in at around 2.3 tons. It's more expensive than it is heavy. This thing costs from 174,000 pounds. Now the EQS MG53, that's also very, very expensive. That starts from 160,000 pounds, but that one has been fitted with a special performance pack, which adds 9,000 pounds to the price, but it does mean that you get full power from it. With that pack fitted, the two electric motors provide a combined 760 horsepower and 1,000 Newton meters of torque. It's heavy though, because of the battery tech and the motors and everything. Weighs in at around 2.6 tons. It's a lot, it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Anyway, let's speak to the driver of that car. It is Yanni from Yanni Mize. So Yanni, you're in a electric car and I've got, well, some electrics and an internal combustion engine. Which car do you think is gonna win? Just based on looks alone. They're both not the best looking cars, unlike the two drivers. I'm gonna go with me. Okay, you think that's quicker. Okay, fair enough. Um, electric cars are quick off the line and this has a lot to think about with its nine-speed automatic gearbox electric motor and its internal combustion engine. But do you know what my car does that yours doesn't? Does this. Oh, bugger, it's got a soft limiter. So it's making this noise like a ghost. Listen to that. So that's weird, so you've got a combination of the internal combustion engine that's only allowed to rev to 4,000 RPM when you're stationary, and then this weird, like, ghosty noise. Can you make a noise with your car? To be fair, it's making a noise anyway. It's very futuristic. And listen, listen, listen. It's like, ooh. It's like, om, um, you know, om. Um, I don't know how you do that. What do you do that? You know when you do the... Bit of meditation. Um, mindfulness. Um, relaxation. Um, Okay, yeah. Do you know what you can do? Put your car into launch sequence because then you might hear a bit more noise. Step on the brake, you know the score, make sure it's sports, man, it's good. Mate! Wow! That was incredible! What the? What, what was that? He's easily pleased. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, uh, honestly, it made me feel the same. Didn't really, didn't really. It's very Star Wars y. Futuristic. I feel like I need lines coming towards me, you know, when you're looking out. Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's insane, isn't it? Love this. I feel even faster now. And with my come on that gives me an extra 100 bhp, I've definitely got you. I'm gonna put this into launch sequence. So, where's the drive? Oh, it's down there, isn't it? Is it? Is it? Oh, yeah, down here. Old school AMG setup. There's mine. That sounds better for sure. Now, if you like these kind of videos and you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you won't miss a single upload. Right, let's race. Actually, before we race, let's do a little bit of tire warming. So I'm gonna drift this car if I can. Let's see if it'll do it. Uh, stability control off. Yeah, it does go. That's enough for that. It slides. Feels quite heavy when it's doing it, but it does slide. Okay then. That was all right for an electric car, you know, AMG slides. It's not the best drifting we've ever done, but it's fine. Now, if you're thinking about buying a new car and need some help selling your current car, you can do it through CarWay, it's dead easy. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Just pick the highest offer, they'll come to your house, set the car away, put the money into your account, it's easy. If you want to do that now, click on the pop-out button up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can do it at a later date by simply Googling, help me car wow, and we will help you, silly car. And now let's race. It's actually very annoying this noise though, Matt, you know that? Wait a minute. Like three minutes ago, you liked it, and now you don't like it. No, I like the Star Wars noise, but the ooh, just the continuous. Yeah, no, nah, it's no good. But anyway, let me whip your rear bottom. 
The bottom's usually at the rear, isn't it? I haven't got one at the front. Three, two, one. Oh, whoa! Just killed the power. <laughs> What the? <laughs> oh, I'm a bit stuck in my seat now. Oh. Come on! All around me are familiar faces. Let's wait for the excuses. That's a hybrid system, just got like that. Too much going on. Absolutely had you off the line. This started to spin up its wheels, then it just killed the power. Everything just stopped. I was sat there just floundering as you just buggered off. Before you spoke, I said to the camera, let's hear his excuses. And there they were, ladies and gentlemen. But they're, they're facts. They're facts. They're not just excuses. They are actual facts of what happened. Just reporting as I found. Matt, we're in the results business, not the excuses business, mate. I guess we're going to do this again so you can actually repeat the results. Yeah, it's always best two out of three, right? Okay, let's do it again. All right, Yanni, what I'm going to do this time is turn the stability control all the way off so that if it spins its wheels, it shouldn't then crap itself and cut all the power. I'll just have to manage it like a blooming race car driver. Wow, so you've now got less chance if we're actually looking at your skills now. Three, two, one. Skills. I'm going sideways <laughs> with my skills. Damn. Skills. That's a problem. Freaking hell. That seems a lot quicker than mine. Uh, what were you saying earlier? What were you saying? What they can do is they can replay what you said in the first race. And there'll be my list of excuses. Your car didn't cock up its launch, anything like that. It's electric, it manages the power brilliant, regardless of the amount of slip. Your car did what your car does. I think so. It, it wasn't great. It felt a lot slower, but I think based on the fact that I'm not watching your car go really fast, made my car feel slower. Also, your reaction wasn't all that either. You know, you're a bit slow. So anyway, it's best two out of three, one each. Let's see what happens this one last time. Yeah, I'm not confident, I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't be, but my car might cock up. Not me, obviously, because I'm awesome, but the car might. Three, two, one. Just smashed them off the line, that was even better. Oh my God, this thing is quick. Spins up its wheels a bit, then hooks. It's gone. This is a bad boy! Oh my god, this thing is so quick. Yours, not so much. Oh my god, this thing is so fast. I mean, oh my god, this thing is so slow. But it's not slow, it's quick, right? It's just that this is bonkers. Yeah, that really does pull, I'm not gonna lie. For something that's electric and the way you're pulling on me, what is that, hybrid? Yeah, it's plug-in hybrid. It's got like 840 horsepower, like 1,400 newton meters of torque. It's nuts. Electric motor on the rear axle, V8 up front. In some ways, the best of both worlds. In other ways, it's a jack of all trades and master of none because it's very, very heavy. I think it's a master of many. What's this, about 700 brake? 760 when you're boosting it. So it's not that far off, but it's heavier. It's heavier and it's got you in it. Oh, well, I've trimmed down a little bit to be fair. <laughs> Fat shamers, go it in for me. Anyway, let's do the thing. This is getting embarrassing. So then what exactly happened? Well, the AMG GT won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11 seconds. The EQS took 11.8 seconds. Now we're gonna have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour. Cars are in their comfy settings. Three, two, one, go. That took a while to kick down. Ooh. Come on. Oh no. Now this is pulling. It's pulling good. Whoa. Okay, I mean, you just shot off, Yanni. This like took a while to kick down for the motors to work with the gearbox and with the engine. It was all just a bit of a delay. But once it was going, I just 
pull past is so easy. Yeah, for a split second, the electric was so, so fast, so reactive. And then I just looked over and I was like, here he comes. Here he comes to save the day, mighty Matt. <laughs> right, <laughs> let's do it again. But if I win again, you've got to sing that another time. <laughs> I quite liked it. That should be my jingle on my own channel. In fact, if you want to check out my own channel, click on the pop-out banner up there. I'll follow the link in the description below for the Matt Watson cars. You'll be able to see which car I'm buying myself, my dream car. So excited. Also, if you want to check out my personal channel, click here. You can see what car I actually bought and see me trying to fit cars in a garage with Matt. We're going to do the same thing again. This time our cars are in their sporty settings, which for me is race. So it's holding a much lower gear now. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I just kicked down then. Sorry, I meant it just changed up as I was calling it in. Come on. We're off now though, gosh. Oh no. I'm not looking. If I don't look, then I win. Gets the jump. I'm coming past 130 miles an hour. If you're wondering what that screeching noise is, it's because we've got some cameras on the top of the car that create a lot of wind noise. It's not the car. Normally it's quite quiet, well, apart from the engine. I think you did a better job that time. I did, and to be fair, Matt, I put my hand over my eyes to cover your car, so then I felt like that I won because I was here on my own. What are you talking about? What, that didn't make any sense. Look, I've done this, look. So then I couldn't see you, so then I was driving on my own and I won. <laughs> well, you might win the next thing. Let's have a little go at this. All right, we're going to do another rolling race. This time, though, from 50 miles an hour, once again, in their sportiest settings. Three, two, one, go. That was better. The system worked better there. Yeah, here we go. Clear win. Before we go any further, Yanni, these cars are pretty much the same price. Which would you choose? I think your one. This is giving me a bit of a headache. An interior. The dashboard's all nice, but the seats are a bit weird. The lever looks a bit loose, considering it's a new car. Okay, I'm glad we established that. I, I think I'd go for this as well. Mainly because it's quicker. But they both don't look great, though. They look weird. They're like fish. I actually like the design of this one. I don't like the design of that one. Nah, weird. Front's weird. Just everything's weird. Even the driver's are weird in that black car over there. Sorry, I thought you were talking about your car. I mean, that made total sense when you were, but seeing as you're not, no, it doesn't make sense. Because the front of this car actually looks good, and obviously, you know, look at this, come on. Just say, get with me, get with me, and let's do the brake test, please. Get with me, get with me, let's do this. Now, if you'd rather watch another drag race with a normal GT four-door against its key German rivals, click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description below. If you'd rather see what happens in this brake test, stay here. When we reach the line, full emergency stop from 100 miles an hour, here it comes. Not gonna lie, that just seemed to go on forever. <laughs> I was just skidding and skidding. I'm thinking, okay then, but I couldn't believe I beat you. Yeah, they, they just kept on rolling. I thought, oh, he's well behind me. I'm gonna keep on going for ages. But you kept on, <laughs> basically kept on rolling with me side by side though, beating me by almost half a car's length. You know it's bad, Matt. Yeah, when the cameraman's about a mile behind us and he's got to run all the way down here. Look, look how far away he is. We'll just have to wait for a bit. Just wait for him to show up. Good job we weren't stopping to prevent an accident. Really, isn't it? Here he comes, look at him. Look at the run on him as well. Nice running, nice running. Do you know what it is though? It's heavy cars. Heavy cars, wet surface, not a good recipe. Oh, I won everything apart from the brake test. You won the brake test. Well, hey. The most important one is the brake test. Uh, anyway, if you'd like a practical family car, uh, which is better value than these two, but still pretty quick, they're still pretty nice. I've picked one out through Carway. If you want to see what the car is and the deal through Carway, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch some more videos, click on those windows there. Let me know which of these two cars you'd rather have in the comments below. And if you're thinking about selling your current car, because you're getting a new one through Carway, obviously, you can now sell your car through Carway as well as buy. So all you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. It's easy. Thanks for watching.